Welcome to part two. See, this is two now. Let's get to the main attractions of the day. Beast and co-ed. You guys were Enjoy. Okay, so I just finished watching um, Zoom by Beast. Um, and I thought they'd actually say the word Zoom but they just kept saying breathe over and over. If there was like anybody to be a good, you know, runner up against the top three, it would be Cube Entertainment because they've got Gina, they've got Beast, they've got Four Minute. They're going pretty strong, so it's, um, especially with the music video now. By the way, I guess the theme here this year is gas masks or something. <gasps> Actually, no, you know what? <laughs> wow, I'm dumb. Okay. Because they only said breathe about a thousand times in, uh, in Zoom. Miss A and Beast both have a song called Breathe. So you know what I think happened? Because they said breathe in English a bunch. Well, Miss A is called Breath. So, I don't know if it's going to be like kind of confusing, maybe. But the theme of this week is definitely air. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably not air. I don't know. Um... Forgive me ahead of time because I don't know all their names, and I should, except for Yosub. I think that's how you say it. Oh my god, I probably butchered it. But he's like the little, the cute one who used to be blonde. His voice is so good. From what I remember, they usually have him doing choruses, which is good because his vocals are so, so good. And let me tell you, there is nothing wrong with hot Asian guys soaking in the rain. That's definitely the highlight of the video. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love the po post-apocalyptic theme that they have. It's actually been my theme of the week. It's weird. Um, <laughs> but, um, inside joke. Anyway, I do like it. And the ending with the rap, it just seemed really abrupt. And I don't like that. I like it. I don't, I don't know. I liked that I got to see the members a bit better because in Shock, which was their, I think it was their last, no, it probably wasn't their last music video before Zoom, but um, it was the only one I saw. <laughs> it was very distorted and sort of fo focused on like techie stuff, so um, it was nice to see a, like a prolific sort of video with a theme because I like it when you balance both. It's always a plus in my book. This next one is from a company called Core Contents Media, and this is the one with Coed. Coed has four girls and six boys. They also are kind of taking a step in um, 21's direction. They released this music video called Too Late uh, in 3D. I'm not fortunate enough to watch the 3D, so I got the 2D version, but let's see what happens with that. Wow, <laughs> I am blown away. These guys are really, and girls, they're really, really good. And if you watch the video, it's clearly meant to be 3D. There's a lot of visuals, again, and I can't stress this enough, it's all about acting. All of the videos, well minus Miss A's, all the videos have acting, all of them. Um, which is not, nothing wrong with that, but this was necessary to try to get to know all ten of the members. This is like a post-apocalyptic thing again. Um, I guess what, I don't know, I couldn't actually follow the plot, because one minute they were robots, and it was the apocalypse, and they kept dusting dust that seemed to never go away off of them and then they're in school, and then they're, I don't know, it was just confusing, but um, there was a point where, I guess one of the girls, this was a robot or something, or these robotic eyes, they kept zooming into each uh, member of co-ed, and um, sort of showing us their names and stuff like that. Couple of things, first of all, there's a boy, and it, of course I don't know his name, he has red hair, it's like they do a close up on him, he does one of the uh, pre-chorus, you know, the uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-oh, uh, 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 that one, he, remind me of G-Dragon and I tried not to think it 
but he with his red hair more reminds me more of him with those glasses on than the girl who has the short blonde hair i don't know why but that's just how it turned out in my head he's got like that fire in him that reminds me of g dragon though so it's not like i'm trying to compare them it's a sincerely compliment one thing I know they're debuting, but even- I don't care if you're even Big Bang. It is not cute to have part of your music video in front of a toilet or a urinal. I don't know who told you it was, and I know you're going for that co-ed high school sort of, I don't know, futuristic thing, but it is not cute to be singing and or dancing in front of a toilet. It's just not. And it's just- that was the one thing that irked me the most. It was just unnecessary. <laughs> The song's already stuck in my head, so core contents, media, you guys have got a very good group first, who is also a co-ed group. I would take notes to the highest extent. The problem with first was that they were horribly scattered and just, uh, like, deers in headlights when they premiered um, live. But, yeah, I'm actually really impressed. It's a great, great debut. But one more other thing. The girls, they can booty shake, like, a lot. They actually did booty shake like a lot. <laughs> it was interesting. But M Countdown, why in the hell did you zoom up on their butts when they were doing their booty shake a bajillion times? Why? Why would you? Why? I don't. <laughs> That's just so weird. So I guess people are calling their name, the names of the group members, an inspiration from TVXQ. I don't know what that means. Maybe Cassie can help me. Um, but their names are Balance Nori, Smile Sumi, Rascal. Oh, how do you see this? <laughs> Rascal Quang Hang, I think. <laughs> Starlight Shanmi, Hot Blood Kang Ho, Solid Sungmin, Sage Taewoo, Sky Earth Yusung, One Star, <laughs> One Star Hyo Won, and One Light Hyo Young. So, I'm confused. Do I call them by their stage names, or by their real names, or by both? Because I can't remember all that, especially for 10 members. Oh my word. That is ridiculous. Not only is a co-ed group new to K-pop, at least a good co-ed group called co-ed, but also the sort of image that they're protruding. I think it'd be a really good thing. Okay, so we've watched Miss A, we've watched Feast, we've watched Seven, we've watched Boa, and we've watched Co-ed. Not in that order, but that's okay. Um, so, who do you think will conquer the rest of this week and also next week? Do you think it will be Miss A from JYP? Do you think it will be Boa from SM Entertainment? Do you think it will be Seven from YG Entertainment? Do you think it will be Beast from Cube Entertainment or Cube Media? I don't remember. Or do you think it will be Coed from Core Contents Media? My, if I had to guess, um... I'd have to say maybe Miss A or Coed. I feel like those songs, both of those songs are like something really different. So people are gonna, I don't know. I, I like those two songs the best. Beast is a comeback. Boa's is like a, is like a transformation thing. So I think she might actually get the least attention. Maybe. We're also waiting on Shiny. So maybe they'll just come next week and like kick everybody's asses and stuff like that. But for now... 21 still rules, and next week will definitely be like the week of all the premieres. All of them. Yay! For SM Entertainment, Cube Media, Core Contents Media, YG Entertainment, and what the hell's the other one? JYP Entertainment. I hope that. I hope they all do good. I hope. <laughs> God, so many.